Hi guys, Mal here. I'm gonna do you a favor and tell you right now that this video is gonna be me completely ranting and sharing. And if that's something that you're not interested in, then just leave right now. <laughs> you don't deserve my vulnerability, my oversharing, my realness, my rawness, and the beauty of sharing vulnerable feelings and what an actual person is going through so you choose to listen. That's all you do. You just listen. You just zip your lips and you listen because I'm a human being. It's exceptionally hard for me because I'm literally in an environment where I'm by myself all day, every day, 24-7, going on two months being in my car. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and my feelings and what I'm going through and my plans because man have I been in a whirlwind of feelings, then stick around and watch. Now that that took up one minute, half of you guys didn't even last that long to make it to the next part of this video. And that's what I'm struggling with. Let's talk about it. I am trying, first things first, I'm trying to be okay with my life, okay? I'm trying to recover from years of trauma from my family. In the last year, I have been through some obstacles that have totally shifted my life and changed my life. I'm trying to find peace, you guys. Finding peace doesn't happen in five minutes. It doesn't happen in six months. It probably doesn't even happen in like two years, but it's progress and it's growth. So, because I'm a Gemini and because I have my brain and because I'm authentically me, you guys, and raw and real, I'm going to share with you what I've been feeling lately. And one, I don't give a shit what you think. Two, I'm going to lay it all out on the car on the table as nice as I can. Three, my mental health is so important, you guys. I wish you, most of you guys would realize that when you share and you get stuff off your chest and you just let it go, you move forward. I came out to Santa Barbara because I wanted to get away from the heat. It was reaching 100 degrees in Santa Clarita. I got criticism about my weight, my health, um, getting a dog, hustling in the sun, being dehydrated, just criticized. It baffles my brain that as a human being, I'm, I made a channel on YouTube to share my life with people for understanding, I guess, understanding. And it's not what it brings. It's not. It has brought many, many great people to my life because I read the comments of, I can count like on a handful of people that I just thoroughly enjoy reading your guys' comments, the way that you speak to me, the dialogue, the communication, and the respect that you have for me is so incredible. There is also um, this section of people that are just don't pay attention to anything that's going on in my life just want to say hi, maybe, I don't know, uh, don't even watch my videos, only want to talk about one negative thing that I said on my video, that's super frustrating and quite annoying, but I can't tell people how to think, I can't tell people how to respond to my channel, and that's what I find myself doing. Now, I'm going to be real and raw and honest and you guys can take it for what it's worth and how you feel about it. Maybe you don't understand, maybe you don't care, because let's face it, some of you guys don't have a YouTube channel. Um, do you put yourself publicly out into the world? I don't know. Um, do you, did you make your own YouTube channel? Did you put hours and hours and hours and hours of work into recreating things um, to seek validation? That's what I'm struggling with too. Most of you guys, if you've been on my live shows, especially know that I go off on tangents because I pretty much have ADHD and I'm a squirrel. You either love it or hate it and I get distracted and that's just how my brain works. 
please feel free to not comment how I need medication or diagnose me. It's a, it's a great time to get that feedback too from people when I never asked for it because I'm strictly just making this video to share my feelings and connect and be a human. <laughs> Mind blowing, baffling to me. I took a lot of days off this week. I was at the beach and I literally found myself, my face hurt from smiling. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't make any videos. I was at the beach. Just people watching, which is my favorite freaking thing to do ever. Listening to the ocean. And I started filming. Okay? I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to see if I can get a really good shot with this. All of these different things. And my whole goal is to share the places that I visit and capture the beauty and put them on you put it on YouTube because people so people can have that experience with me and I have to keep telling myself that you are doing this because you want to share an experience to feel like people are doing this with me so in my head I have to tell myself you did not make this video to seek validation about your creativity and the hard work that you put into this and I am struggling that with that so bad, you guys. Here's why I'm struggling with that. I go to the comments and I read your guys' comments. Take that with a grain of salt. Um, some of you guys are just the most amazing people I could ever ask for. And some of you guys are just mediocre. And some of you guys just don't comment. I, I, think, I, um, I think I actually respect when people don't comment the, the most. Because you're just letting me live my best life and you're just just watching me and I still am torn oh my god there's a beautiful plane I want to capture planes I think every plane that comes in and out of this airport is unique and different and I want to make a video about planes but if I did do that you got I would care about what you guys would think and that's my struggle with YouTube I'm starting to find myself I ask myself what would you guys like me to make and I didn't realize that until the other day. And I said, Mel, what in the, what, what did you just say? Did I just literally spew that out my mouth? I did. And uh, I'm not okay with that, you guys. I'm going to make my YouTube channel to seek validation from you guys. And that's where I find myself going. I go to the comments to make sure that you guys are paying attention. That you hear me, that I'm heard that my story is shared, that the places I visit are seen. When I hustle, the money is made for you. <laughs> if I hustle, it inspires you. I'm, I don't know what to do with that. My brain went there. My life went from going through all these obstacles and grieving to, to holding myself accountable, just sharing my life with being people. And I was going through some very, very, very hard things, you guys. And now that I'm kind of okay, I'm feeling more confident. And I think it's because I've been by myself in the last two months. I'm away from people. I'm not living with people. Um, I'm not in that environment anymore. It's just me. So I have to find the joy. And I don't know what that looks like. When I go visit places and explore, I have joy. I don't have joy making money. I can't stand doing DoorDash. I can't stand grocery shopping. Sometimes, you guys. But it does make me really, really feel good to provide services for people. But as of lately out here in Santa Barbara, the attitude, the snickery people that are here, snickery is saying it nicely, um, the ungratefulness, I have not experienced gratitude here. Um, when I was in Santa Clarita, I actually did. I had conversations with people. Maybe I'm missing the mark here, but I don't know. And different environments bring different things. And when I say that out loud, people go in my comments and be like, yeah, yeah, I experienced the same thing. I don't know. I'm just sharing with you that this is how I felt. I did not feel that way in Santa Clarita. I didn't feel that way in Simi Valley. I didn't feel that way in Wisconsin. But people automatically assume that I'm having such a terrible time here because 
I'm speaking my truth. So I asked myself the other day if I should just turn off my comments. And I went on YouTube and, or I went on Google and I searched it and I said, if I turn off my, my comments on my videos will affect my YouTube channel. That's what I did last night, you guys. And then I asked myself, why the fuck do I care if turning off my comments on my video is going to affect my channel? I'm not here to make money off of you guys. I'm not here to seek validation. I don't care about my views, but as a businesswoman, I do. If I want to turn this into a business and actually grow and have progress in the YouTube land, I should pay attention to those things. I should educate myself a little bit about what YouTube needs. But then I was like, no, you don't. Why do you care what other people think about you? Why do you care about complete strangers on the internet making comments behind a keyboard? Some of you guys I truly love and value and the, we've had incredible um, conversation and you make me feel so wonderful. You're inspired by me. So to turn the comments off, I wouldn't be able to have that dialogue with you guys. But in the same context, I need to, I go to the comments for my own validation, you guys, because I'm a people pleaser and I can't do that. So I'm choosing to turn off my comments. It's probably going to affect my channel a lot, but I just need to keep moving forward with my life. If you are, you misunderstand that or you don't get to this part of the video where you can't watch seven minutes into a video of me speaking my truth, um, that's not a me problem. That's a you thing, but you can, you're probably going to get butt hurt and think that I turned off just your comments when I turned off everyone. So just stating that right now. I felt bad about this, but then when I was Googling it, I also found that Taylor Swift on Instagram turns off her comments. And this is what she says about it. I'm going to leave it up here for two seconds. And if you guys actually want to read it, you can pause it and read it. It's so true. She gets it. She understands it. Now, I'm not Taylor Swift, but I think we have the same mental space. I really, really think after years, just in different forms, that she has struggled with um, being her insecurities, which I have a lot. Um, maybe from people criticizing her or just having this status. Um, I went through the same thing in my life, except it was people... A small group of people that I surrounded myself with, my family, that I thought were going to be so loving and they weren't. Let me talk about how you can support my channel and be here for me because you're not going to be able to talk to me. So all you have to do is just watch my videos and support me and understand where I'm coming from and my progress and my growth and my journey. That's it. And if you don't want to do that, then don't even bother turning on a notification or clicking on my channel when it goes. I have a lot of new people. Um, YouTube is pushing me out in the world because they think I want to be around these people that do this and that, which I don't. Like, I don't want to just talk to people about DoorDash. That's how I make money. I don't care about how I make money. I care about what I'm doing to, to make my goals, but I don't want to teach you about DoorDash. I don't want to answer questions about DoorDash. I mean, I do, I'll help you, but how is that helping me helping you? It's not. And... <laughs> I am on a journey to find my peace. That doesn't involve taking a second to stop and help people, depending. It's a lot about yourself. And I don't want to steer away from that. And I had a really hard time just speaking that out loud right now because of guilt and shame. Because I've been told I was selfish. I've been told I've been selfish for setting a boundary saying nope you can't do this to me nope you can't say this to me nope this is not appropriate I don't want you in my life I have guilt and shame about that still I'm working through that again part of finding my peace so all this being said I asked myself when was the most happiest when you were on YouTube and that was just starting my YouTube channel. I went and showed Christmas lights with you guys to show me making money, just trying to survive because that's all I had to do. All I had to do to keep myself busy and distracted from, you know, the just the shift of environments, 
being around um, the culture shock, um, just a lot of different things, and I was not happy at all. I faked that I was happy for a very long time. The last two months, I have not faked being happy. I'm just doing whatever the hell that I want. I watched my video the other day and I caught myself criticizing my body. I have gained so much weight since I moved out to California because I was so depressed. I just ate and ate and ate. The last two months I realized being in my car, all the crappy food I was eating, how unhealthy I have let myself become. I don't feel bad about it, but I know that there's things I need to change. And I don't need people on the internet telling me what I need to eat or what I should do or how to feel because I'm really, honestly, very, very well aware of what I've been through in my life, you guys. I don't ask for you to tell me what to do. So it's just totally unnecessary and it's so frustrating when I'm just sharing my life with people and you go to the comments and see what people have to say. Like, so I'm going to turn it off. That's the only way I know how. So now that I'm done talking about that, if you made it past the last 12 minutes of this video, maybe I'll cut it down. I sat down and I looked at my debt because I really asked myself what I need to focus on. Instead of focusing on YouTube and comments and people not understanding me, which has nothing to do with finding peace on your journey. <laughs> And I'm mad at myself for that, but what were you doing? I was focusing on my debt. I wanted to feel like a bad bitch because I paid off my car, so I need to focus on that. So I sat down again, and I always get criticism when I write out my stuff because, or people telling me how much I should have in my emergency fund when they don't have a clue about what has happened to me in the last year or my finances at that. But um, I've learned to just stop asking people. I don't need your approval. I don't need your opinion. Just I need, just need to go do me. And that's really hard because I'm a, peop a recovering people pleaser. But I also don't need to go. I don't need this negative energy or this headspace where people are just bringing me down. I really don't. I love all of the positivity that people have brought to my channel as well. I don't want to not acknowledge that. Um, but I just find myself focusing on the negative. And I've shared this with you guys before. But like I said, only two of two minutes is watched on my videos. Maybe seven if I'm lucky. Um, so nobody hears me. Nobody sees me. Nobody understands what I'm trying to do. So, and I'm sitting here trying to seek approval thinking that you guys actually do. I know some of you do. Most of you guys that actually watch my entirety of my video don't even comment. You just enjoy the ride with me. And then one day you're going to say to me six months from now, Matt, wow, 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 wow. And I, I think I understand that more than people commenting every day being as fake as can be. So I know that I can inspire people by just being me and doing what I'm doing and I don't need to hear people's comments or see comments in order to keep fulfilling my purpose I guess is to if you guys are I've heard you guys are inspired by me. Um, I inspire you to set goals my attitude and my positivity well I'm taking away from that because I'm looking at comments on my YouTube channels or I'm looking at my numbers on my YouTube channels to see how long you guys watched it I get pissed when I sit here and spend an entire day making a video and nobody watches it like that's my own fault I'm getting angry at doing something that I really do enjoy I don't know I guess I have to sit on that for a minute and think about it so behind the scenes, you guys, because I have not been posting a lot of videos, and I'm not going to make videos every single day unless I feel like it. I felt pressured to make videos, but to be honest, people were pressuring me to make videos every single day um, so I can show my debt. Well, I don't want to. It's exhausting, and I don't sleep, and I obviously my health is more important about you seeing a video every day. Or some people would comment that, oh, I wish you would make a longer video. Oh, I wish you would make a shorter video. What? 
I just can't, you guys. And I'm not going to talk about it anymore. And I'm not going to try to get negative about it. But to protect my me, my peace doing things that I love, sharing my life with you, making you making a YouTube channel to just have you guys along for the ride. I don't want to take away from that. And I feel like I am. And that's my own fault. It has nothing to do with what any of you guys said or did. Anyway, I want to go into my debt because I'm super excited and I wanted to share with you guys what I'm going to do in the future. I have been sucking at keeping you guys up to date on my debt journey. Okay, just completely sucking. But I've also been trying to figure out my food. I have to feel safe at night. I have to still get used to this environment. And there's just a lot of things that I have to process. And I always prioritize what you guys think. And I'm like, no. And Santa Clarita, because that's, I didn't feel like I was people pleasing there. But I was showing up for every day for myself. And holding myself accountable, just cracking out my debt, hustling. But it was just too hot there. Now that I'm in Santa Barbara, I just feel a certain type of way. And I don't I don't know what that is, you guys. But anyway, I'm still following my June budget. And you guys can see, you can go look on my budget videos because nobody watches them. And that's the truth. But I was giving myself $400 for food. And I've been watching my food a lot. I've been, I think I go grocery shopping twice a week because I'm buying fresh salad and yogurts and stuff like that, you guys, and I have to make sure that it's not expired and stuff. And it's fresh, so I have to make sure that I eat it right away. I think for the month of July, at the end of July, I'm gonna sit, sit down and break down with you guys um, how much I spent. I think maybe in May or June, I broke down how much money I spent on food. Like I went through every single section of my bank and just, do that for myself too so I can see it because this is not about you guys this is about me um, just sharing what I'm doing and I gotta keep reminding myself but anyway um, I felt really terrible sharing that I racked up my credit card to $2,900 because somebody said to me oh you shouldn't be using your credit cards you should cut them up well you don't know what my life is like so and then I just took that to heart and I was so, I wanted to share with you guys that my goal is to pay off my car. I've shared many, 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 many times my thoughts about it and what direction I wanted to go because in my life it makes more sense because I'm making money daily and anything could happen to me tomorrow. Um, it makes sense for me to pay off pay off the highest amount of money that I spend on stuff the biggest chunk and that's my car that's $375 so if I get rid of that everything else is more affordable considering that I literally work day to day to day in my car so I have been hustling not as much as I want to but I've been figuring things out because I don't want to vlog it um, because it's a struggle and a half it's disappointing. I get disappointed and um, days don't work out the way that I want to or maybe I'm sitting the entire day. So those are all things. I can't be this DoorDash hustler and create this channel where I sit and hustle on DoorDash and just make everyone's DoorDash dreams come true. Or Amazon Flex. I'm not that person, you guys. That's not what my channel is about. I feel like YouTube is pushing my channel out to DoorDash, the DoorDash community, and um, the Amazon Flex community, and then people have these expectations of who I'm supposed to be, and I'm not. My channel is sharing my life with you guys, taking you places initially if I pay everything off and I can stop working and my YouTube channel is successful and I can just travel. That was my initial goal, you guys. So now that I'm showing actual travel things, um, I hope that you guys are enjoying it truly because that's what I wanted to create. That's where I want to be in my life is to create and whatever that looks like. Um, I don't want to just create hustle videos so you guys are inspired, inspired and it benefits you. Like this is not what my channel is about. If I stopped and, 
evaluated a business stance of a channel, um, how I can be successful with hustling with DoorDash and attracting that audience, sure, but that's not my goal. Again, I just keep going on and on, but I'm letting all of this out for me, okay? This is completely for me, and I have to keep telling myself that, and I have to be okay and not feel guilty and shameful that I speak my truth. It's, it's really hard. So anyway, I don't know if you guys can see it. The last time I talked about my car payment, I had $3,420.71 left, and you can see... In the green that my car, I have $2,189.38 left to pay off on my car. That's it. So now that I have spent the last 20 minutes sharing my thoughts, feeling pressured, trying to seek validation, feeling ashamed and guilty and lost when I'm really just supposed to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing and being genuinely happy and not feeling criticized and judged and holding myself accountable, having these goals and achieve them so I can move forward with continuing to find the peace in my life. So I'll leave you with that. You guys can take this however you want it. If you want to continue to keep supporting my channel, you can just keep watching the entirety of the videos. Um, you can support my channel by giving me a thumbs up and a like. You can share the video. If you genuinely want to be here for my journey and watch what I go through and what I experience um, and whatever feelings that gives you, that's your responsibility, not mine. And I said that out loud so I can actually hear myself say that and then probably go back and watch this video and validate myself <laughs> by hearing myself say that. But I could go on and on and on because my brain works in mysterious ways. I'm a deep thinker. I'm a Gemini, you guys. So I have 5 million emotions and feelings every single day of my life. But that's the entirety of this video. I needed to do a brain dump. I did this for me. Just know that I'm turning off comments because I can. It's my channel. And I don't need anybody's validation but my own. And that is my whole purpose. Is to be okay. Not just okay. That sounds really mediocre. But just be genuinely happy. And have a passion about me that's... It isn't... Um, guided by seeking approval from comments on my YouTube videos. If that, I think that sounded it up really good. But anyway, I hope you guys all have an amazing day, whatever that looks like for you. I am inspired to get $2,189 in my pocket to pay off my car and then who knows where my life is going to take me. Stay tuned, guys. Find out. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for allowing me to share my life with you and welcoming you into mine. <laughs>